All right, it's Sunday and I just got all ready. I'm trying to look very, very festive because I'm going to Georgetta's, I think it's the fifth annual Christmas tree decorating party and it is not cool outside at all. It's a little bit rainy though. Hopefully it will cool off because of the rain because this sweater is totally unnecessary and it's not just because of the ruffles and the sleeves, but I just had to wear it. I am so sorry I did not start the vlog earlier. Well, yesterday was kind of boring. It was crazy, but in a boring way. I don't know, does that ever happen to you? I did some shopping I probably shouldn't have done, but other than that, it was kind of boring. But the part I really wish that I had vlogged was Friday, because guess what? I found my wedding dress. I totally didn't expect it. It was, I feel like I should not be telling you this whole story at a red light. Like. Maybe I need to like wait until later to tell you until like after the party and everything. I don't want to wait. I want to tell you now, but I had to like rush over here. <laughs> this weather, oh, it's leaving a lot to be desired. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright. I'm here a little bit early to help out with anything that needs help, basically. Uh, so yeah, I gotta go in. I will tell you the story after though, I promise. No. Georgetta oh, had a Georgetta. new baby. Friend. He's just like me, right? Sometimes. Who's this guy? <laughs> so, I'm a little worried so about him. <gasps> oh my gosh. They made this amazing terrarium. It's like a whole ecosystem for their new baby. How big does uh, get? Depending on if it's a male or a female, if it's a male, it'll get to be about three feet long. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we're coming. Okay. Erica. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, duh. Y'all have a connection, I'm just saying. Hey. You've met your soulmate, Erica. Are you vlogging? Yes. Behold, it's Georgetta's Christmas tree. What? Fred's feeling better than Georgetta. We have all of the cute little ornaments. Ooh, this one. What you making, Erica? Turkey meatballs for the babies. I've been delegated to go pick up some desserts and some other things from the grocery store. And the grocery store looks crazy. Mission accomplished. Y'all, I just picked up 18 orders of red velvet churros and they smell so good. I cannot wait to eat these. Apparently, this is what a red velvet churro looks like. What? The tree is decorated, and the party's over. All right, finally back home, and Miss Luna Bean, she is already. So tired, so ready to go to bed. <laughs> and oof, it was a long day, it was a long party. I was over there for like eight hours, or maybe more. Um, we had a lot of fun, there were a ton of people there. It was definitely a great success. The tree was decorated successfully. All the food was yummy. Um, the only part that was not a success, not at all a success, um, is the fact that I broke my phone. I guess you kind of can't see it. I don't know how I can show you that I broke my phone, but it's um, it's not broken. The screen is just cracked, which I can live with. It's not, um, it's not unlivable. Um, Luna is taking an interest in my extra, extra sleeve. <laughs> I think she smells Fred. Now, finally, I tell you <laughs> the story of Friday, the story of how I found my wedding dress. Uh, I still kind of can't believe it because, okay, I wasn't looking for it that long, but I kind of wasn't ready to commit. Um, I wanted to be, but I didn't think it was gonna happen on Friday. I just invited my mom. I didn't invite Georgetta or my sister or anything because um, it was a Friday afternoon and the place that we went, uh, Brickhouse Bridal, is like so far away. 
it takes a long time to get there and I was just like oh I feel like you know I'm dragging people all over the place and I don't want to I don't know I would probably overthought it but it was just me and my mom and we made an appointment with Sarah who actually is the same person that helped Georgetta find her dress and she watches my channel and so it was kind of cool because when we made that appointment she was just like hey like she like knew me and it was amazing and she's like the sweetest person and so so at the end of georgetta's appointment i was like well i'm gonna be looking for a dress soon so i need to come back and so i knew that was the that was the next place i wanted to go anyway i got an appointment with her and i was there for like three four hours something like that like i was there for a very long time and sarah was so patient so sweet she's just a sweetheart and i couldn't have had a better experience i don't know why but it was so hard for me to just commit to it i mean i know i always joke about how i have commitment issues i don't think i really do but i just I don't know, I was nervous. Since I like so many dresses that are so different, I just had a hard time just knowing that that was the one that I needed to do. Like so many people told me like on Instagram or you know, wherever giving me advice about how to know that it was the right dress. And many people were like, you'll know whenever you cry, like you'll burst into tears when you have the right one. And I know that that's not my personality. I'm not gonna necessarily have that kind of emotional response. And um, so I knew that wasn't gonna happen to me. I was, it was gonna be more of like a, I don't know, deciding that it was best. And I found this one and I loved it. It had all of these different elements that I really liked and it felt different, it felt special, it felt, it just had all of these pieces that I really love. But through everything, she was so sweet and so patient. And my mom too, so patient, so helpful. I couldn't have done it without her and I I just went for it. I was just like finally like going through all of the different dresses that I really, really loved and kind of just like systematically talking myself out of all of the other dresses and that's kind of what did it for me. So it's kind of like a process of elimination and also loving that dress because I just love so many different dresses. I decided on the dress. I felt good about it. I felt gorgeous. I wanted the dress. I took a picture. They had like a little sign. It's like, I said yes to the dress. I did all of that. And then we went up to the counter to like check out, sign the order, all of that. And I like got this feeling and I was just like, huh. Am I making the right decision? And I felt so bad saying that, but like I had this like pang of like regret, which like that makes no sense. They never show you that part on say yes to the dress. <laughs> so, but Sarah, she was like, seriously, even girls that are like crying when they have the dress on and they're like, this is the one. And they're like so obsessed with it. They get to the counter and they're like, oh, they have this like pause moment. But more than anything, I know I'm gonna feel great in the dress. It's gonna be perfect for the day. It makes sense. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's beautiful. I feel so good in it. It's like, I can't wait to wear it again, which I know sounds crazy. And I'm gonna have to wait like a million months because wedding dresses take forever to come in. Does Amazon Prime do wedding dresses? Because they should. Some people need wedding dresses a whole lot faster than like a million months or like six months or whatever. Basically the whole story is I found my dress. I'm in love with it. I did have a moment of regret, but apparently that's normal. And also Sarah helped me and it was just so cool. I don't know, it's just like a unique experience. When I tried on the dress and all of that decided on it, like there was no emotion there, but after we had already like ordered the dress and everything and actually Sarah gave me a birthday gift. She wrote me a card. It's like the most perfect card ever. Like I have to show you guys it because like it's so like when you see this card, you'll be like, yes, Leanne, you needed this. It's not necessarily a birthday card, but if this card ain't me, I don't know what is. <laughs> and she just wrote me the sweetest note ever. It was wrapped in like holographic paper and it's a bracelet with a moon and a star and it's got two little sparklies, but they might be turned over. It's so cute. I love it. It like it's so thoughtful. Like she get she gets me. 
I don't know, it was just the sweetest thing. It was the best surprise and she waited to the very end. Part of me was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's giving me a gift. I, she's probably like so frustrated with me for being so like indecisive, but she totally wasn't. And then after all that, we had done the order and everything. She was talking to my mom and I, and she was telling us about how she tried my mom's chicken fried steak recipe and it turned out great and she loved it. And I don't know why, but like, that was the moment where I started to feel kind of like emotional. I started feeling like I was gonna cry and I felt so like awkward about it because it's like I just like picked out my wedding dress and that's like the moment where you're supposed to like cry and get all like dramatic and everything but like that was the thing that I was just like oh my gosh like this moment is so priceless like it's so I people don't get this, you know, get to have somebody that like cares about you, help you find your wedding dress, like at such a special moment. I'm sorry I'm not explaining this well, but it's just like, it's just so cool, basically. It was just a really cool moment and I loved that I got to do that with Sarah and she was so sweet and so helpful and she really cared and that that meant so much to me it's just crazy how like big and small the world is and and like how cool people can be basically and how lucky i am to have you guys and to have you guys there for me and you know even today whenever i went to boss cat to pick up the churros I met someone that watches my channel and she just like popped up and she was just like, oh my gosh, like I've just always thought I was gonna run into you around town and um, and here you are. And yeah, it was like a five minute interaction. It was just kind of in passing, but she was so sweet and that stuff just like means the world to me and I appreciate you guys so much. It, it brightens my day more than you could possibly know to get to meet you guys out in the world and um yeah wedding dress check and i have a lot of pictures but i and i was going to put them on my instagram story but then i felt like well i got the dress i feel like it's kind of irrelevant so i didn't if you guys would want me to like put those pictures of some of the dresses that i didn't get i could i could do that i don't know if you, you guys might be sick of seeing me in wedding dresses. I don't know. I'm just so happy that I finally found one. I was getting a little bit sick of myself being like, oh, I can't decide, I can't decide. I'm like, just don't be that person, just make a decision. And I'm sorry I didn't vlog it, but I did the two wedding dress try on vlogs and it was Friday, Georgetta wasn't there and Georgetta has been helping me record, so I just, I just, I just didn't go there. I'm just happy. And I'm also really tired right now. <sighs> oh, one thing I wanted to ask you guys, if you are watching this show on Amazon Prime, what is it called? I just started it yesterday. Aha, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I kept seeing ads for it, I think on Instagram, maybe. And I kind of looked at it, it was like, ah, oh, that looks cheesy, I'm not gonna like that. And for whatever reason, I clicked on it. And I got totally sucked in, and I actually really liked it. And I was very surprised that I liked it. Have you been watching it? It's, it's nice, it's a nice break from like the darkness. Like I'm all about like the cult podcast and like, I don't know, I've just been like listening to and watching like a lot of like really serious stuff lately. It's a nice little break. I don't know why I felt the need to bring that up right now. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great weekend. Thank you. I love you. Bye.